Hey guys, how you doing? After screwing it up many times, it seems that PlayStation is redirecting its energies in a much more positive way than it may appear. And that is what we're going to talk to you about in this video. We recommend that you stay until the end because whether you like PlayStation or if you're a hater, you're going to enjoy what we've made for you because there are some very good things and some not so good things that you will need to sound off about in the comments. We're not going to lie, we have given the brand a bit of a slap in previous videos, but not for nothing. They screwed up many things and we, as PlayStation fans, thought that needed to be reported. Well, with that said, the last few days have seen a lot happening at the company and that is what we are going to talk about today. As always, without censorship and we have left the best until the end because that's just how we roll. Or maybe not. We'll see. Are you serious? The first big news is that it seems that someone last week appears to have come out of nowhere to leak a great series of interesting things about the future of PlayStation and the first, according to the prestigious journalist Jason Schreier, is that they are focusing only and exclusively on large productions, leaving the small studios a little more to one side. Basically, what they don't want is to make smaller games that are only successful in Japan and not in the West. We'll come back to this. And watch out, because now the next two pieces of news are going to lead to a third that will divide many of you. But no bad vibes, we don't want that guys. It's all peace and love here. <laughs> According to the prestigious agency Bloomberg, it seems that Naughty Dog is working on a remake of The Last of Us for PS5. If it's real, let's hope it doesn't cost 80 euros, but we all know it will. No, God, please, no, no! seems that the total remake of the game that turned almost anyone who played it into a rabid fanboy was going to be done by Visual Art Service Group, a small studio that didn't receive the necessary funding to continue with the project that they started. And Sony transferred it to Naughty Dog, the makers of the original game and its much discussed second part. That is, they prioritize big studios over small ones, a perfect example to explain our earlier point. You're welcome. In that same Bloomberg News article, it also said that PlayStation refused to make Days Gone 2 to prioritize a new Uncharted. What? PlayStation refused to make Days Gone 2 to prioritize a new Uncharted. Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? A big fail that we will talk about later. Days Gone Studios Sony Bend was ordered to support the multiplayer of a Naughty Dog game and to work on a new Uncharted under Naughty Dog's supervision. Days Gone, it should be remembered, comes to PC this month. And if it has a good launch, Sony could change its mind and allow a new game in the saga. Please. With this, and linking to the two previous items, it seems that Sony is betting on playing it safe and only supporting successful sagas instead of taking risks. I'll explain. Is a remake of The Last of Us necessary? Absolutely not. The game is not so old or bad enough to devote so many resources to remake it. Is a new Uncharted necessary? Personally, I think that the saga closed very well. In fact, I'm not afraid to say it's one of my top three sagas in the history of PlayStation. If you want to squeeze the saga to get more money, you run the risk of ruining it big time and fuck one of the best franchises you have done. But we'll see what happens. What made PS4 great, and I hope we all agree, is that Sony took chances with new sagas like Horizon and supported smaller studios to do new things and the best example of this is Sucker Punch with Ghost of Tsushima. But if this is confirmed, and if it's true that Sony Ben was denied the opportunity to make Days Gone 2 because of a new Uncharted, it would be, in my opinion, a very bad decision that they may regret. I don't know about you, but I've had it up to here with remakes, and what I want are new things. Leave us a like if you feel the same, and leave us a comment with what you think. David Jaffa, original creator of the God of War saga, said that PlayStation, now be careful, is preparing a counter-attack on Xbox Game Pass. He claims that Sony people are telling him this, but that he has no idea, or he doesn't want to tell us, what it will really be. All this comes after Jim Ryan said a few months ago that the Game Pass model was not sustainable because many of his games have budgets of more than 100 million, and releasing them free is something that doesn't work. And this is where the haters have taken advantage to remember this. But friends, a counterattack does not mean that they will do the same thing. There is a big difference. But what exactly do they want to do? Well, that leads us to the following thing that we have seen and which we desperately wish we hadn't. But it admittedly has the greatest logic in the world. And it seems that PlayStation wants to adapt a large part of its catalog to mobile phones. 
Why? Well, love it or hate it, more and more of us are playing games from our mobile phone. And whether we're on the throne or lying on the couch, and it is right now one of the main sources of income for the industry. Okay, but how the hell do we know this? Are we making it up? Well, obviously not. On this channel, we're serious and we tell the truth. This comes from a job offer in which PlayStation is literally looking for a head of mobile to lead the brand's mobile game development strategy, adapt the most important sagas to mobile devices, and to work hand in hand with PlayStation Studios to create a roadmap for the next three to five years. So don't do a double take when you see classic PlayStation games available for mobile, or who knows, maybe new games as well, thanks to the cloud like Xbox have been doing for some time. Leave us a like if you've also played GTA 5 on your mobile thanks to Game Pass. All of this comes after the success of Call of Duty Mobile, Genshin Impact, PUBG, or even the loved and hated Fortnite and Free Fire at the same time. PlayStation is realizing, late as always, the large amount of money they are missing here and want to join an industry whose global market, according to analysts, will be three times that of consoles by the end of the year. We have stared deep into the crystal ball to predict the future and make our personal bet on what we think they will do with this. And it is, well, actually you don't have to be Albert Einstein to know that PS Now in, we hope, a short time will be equal to Game Pass in the sense that its catalog will be available on console, PC and mobile phones. But, and here's the difference. We don't believe that they will release the games on day one in the service because unlike Xbox, PlayStation doesn't have a Microsoft behind them that can afford a lot of losses and they need to earn that money from the sales of the new games. And we also do not believe that they will release mobile games as such in the sense of going to the Play Store or the App Store because they would lose a lot of money by having to share it. So we think they will expand on what they've already have because sooner or later it was something that we all knew was going to happen. Without a doubt, a promising future that, like everything in life, will divide the fans and that's where you come in because we want to know what you think. If all of this is confirmed, is it a good decision to make a remake of The Last of Us? Is it necessary to prioritize a new Uncharted over Days Gone 2? Hopefully all these questions and many more will be resolved in the upcoming event that they are preparing to run alongside E3 in the month of June. But here, what we care about is knowing what you think. So don't be shy and tell us in the comments. Thank you very much for being there yet again and see you very soon.